Okay, here we go. And... Hi, I'm Michael Spires, and I'm here at the Théâtre Champs Élysées to answer as many questions as I can in a hundred seconds. Uh, and I'm very excited for the Bear Tenor concert that we'll be performing here. It's a very exciting project and album dear to my heart, and so I hope you all like it when you come to see it at Teatro Saint Elysée. And go. What's the funniest thing that ever happened to you on stage? Um, I was Santa Claus in fifth grade, and my pants fell down in front of everybody. Uh, and the line was literally, "Oh no, we've got to get out of here!" And everyone laughed. Uncontrollably. It was amazing. What is your go-to dance move? Oh, golly. That would probably be the, mm-hmm, yeah, the, the heavy shoulders. The heavy dad shoulders, that's what it's called. Uh, <laughs> who should play the next James Bond? Well, me, of course. Uh, <laughs> I'm an international man of mystery. Do you have any lucky charms that you take with you to the stage? No, I'm actually not a very um, uh, superstitious person. The only lucky charm is um, my my thoughts about calming down. <laughs> if you can call that charm. Oh, what is something you're not good at? Oh, saying no to things. Um, I like to please everybody all of the time. Uh, what are your tips for auditioning? Realize that uh, uh, it doesn't matter uh, that much. Uh, you're never going to have a big break. You have to have a, uh, breaks throughout your career and the main thing is to keep going and auditioning non-stop and getting better. Who's the most memorable person you met? Oh golly. Oh, probably Terry Gilliam. He's now my friend and he's directed me in two different operas. Now we're friends and I'm going to see him in, in a couple of weeks uh, again. Every time I'm in London we, we meet for drinks and talk about crazy stuff because he's just as crazy as me. So what language is the most difficult to sing in? Oh, it would probably be I don't want to offend anybody, but probably, uh, <laughs> oh man, let me think. Uh, I would think Klingon. There we go, Klingon. Um, I have a friend who, co who composed an opera in Klingon, and I, I worked with him in, in certain, certain sounds, uh, and uh, I was like, yeah, this is, this is nearly impossible to sing, because like, I was like, how can you sing m melodies like that? It's like, it's like, it's about war. It's like, yes, I know. But they, there's melody and more. There's beauty. No, there's not. <laughs>